Hey everyone, it's Bill Duran here from Punished Props. I am a full-time prop maker and I get a lot of people telling me that their dream is to also be a full-time prop maker. So I figured I'd give you guys a little look into the reality of running a business as a creative person. So you've gone ahead and you quit your day job. You've got a whole pile of time every day to devote to your creative endeavors. This pie here represents your newly freed up time. Boy, that is an awful lot of prop making pie and it looks really good. Let's dig right in. Ah, hold on one second there. Your inbox is full of emails, so let's spend a slice on that every single day. Emails answered, let's build. Wait, ah, I've got to set up my social media posts on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Plus, I have to write a blog article for my website. I am, after all, the public face of my company, and I need to stay relevant in the communities where my potential customers like to frequent. Another slice. Now can I make stuff? Nope. <laughs> My website's broken, and since I'm the IT guy for my company, I need to go fix it. There goes another slice. Plus, I need to order more raw materials. I've gotta do inventory. I have to maintain my tools, and I have to clean my shop. So, there goes another slice. Okay, finally, I have a couple hours in the day left to build props, let's do this! Ah, uh, damn it. I have to send out a couple of invoices, I have to package up some finished pieces, and then I have to go get them shipped out to customers. There goes another slice. Of course, I'm publishing this video, so I have to be a writer, director, a cameraman, and an editor. Goodbye, delicious slice. I barely knew thee. Now, there couldn't possibly be anything else in the way of me building stuff today, could there? You better believe it. Taxes, another Damn slice. Now that all of that business crap is done, it's easy to see how little prop making pie you can have left at the end of the day. Which is ironic since that's why you got into this in the first place. So what are your options? You wanna spend most of your day building stuff, right? You could do what I've been doing. Work double time and weekends for a couple of years. If you have two pies, you can spend one on building stuff and the other on all of that vital business stuff. Unfortunately, this means you end up sacrificing your leisure time. Things like video games, TV shows, other hobbies, partying, and whatever else you enjoy doing for recreation will have to fall by the wayside for the benefit of your business. Don't worry, it shouldn't be like that forever. After a couple of years, you should get good enough and fast enough at running your business that it starts to make money. Then you can take some of that money and hire other people to do that other crap for you. Any other options? Sure, you could keep your day job. Use that money to fund the outsourcing of your non-prop making tasks. You'll end up spending eight or less hours sleeping eight hours making props, and then eight hours at your day job. In fact, this is exactly what I did for about six months before I decided to take my passion full time. You could also go work for another company as a hired prop maker. Now, these jobs are far and few between. Plus, you probably have to go move to LA. They are also highly competitive. You'll have a whole bunch of bosses, you'll have really tight deadlines, and you probably won't get paid very much. But if all you want is to build stuff for a paycheck, then that's the option for you. Finally, you could just keep prop making as a hobby and maybe occasionally take commissions on the sign. That is totally fine. I found that it's vital that you continue the enjoyment of making things. And sometimes turning that into a career can spoil the fun. Do you still want to be a full-time prop maker? Well, you're just as crazy as I am and I wanna hear about it in the comments down below. Also, please check out some of my other prop making videos. They're really, really neat and you'll learn how to make some super cool stuff. Those are right over here. Thank you guys very much for watching my video. I'll be doing a whole bunch more, so stay tuned. I will see you later. Get out there, make some cool things. Video idea ever? I agree. Is that good or what? You want to buy?
Who wants a pie? I don't want to eat it, I want to put my nose on it. Mm-hmm. That did it. Well, I'm glad I was recording for that. 